Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to disassemble this automatic lighter that was made in Japan so that we can clear the flint tube. And while we are at it, we are also going to go ahead and cut a replacement flint spring for it and hopefully get it working. Start here by removing the fulcrum cap the flint spring and screw are obviously already out of the lighter there is the original flint spring which is all bent up this is the one we're going to try to use so we're just going to pull that screw off of there pull this screw off of here and hope that those will join sufficiently to be able to use it and it doesn't actually have to fit inside there the main thing is that the proper tension is placed on the flint up against the file wheel once we've got it all back together so first thing first as far as disassembling the mechanism we want to push that fulcrum screw out of there keep pressure up here on the top pull that fulcrum screw out should be similar to a Ronson automatic lighter mechanism not exactly but sort of similar to the Adonis with the thumb lever already in place you can see there where the flint tube is obstructed so let's go ahead and spin our 332nd drill bit here hopefully clear this out matter of fact let's put something down here on the work surface to catch it I'm sure it's going to spill some dust. Just want to take your time, not a lot of pressure. With these Ronson type automatic mechanisms, you really don't want to if you can avoid it. You don't want to have to use the power drill. And this one actually has a little bit of flint dust on my hand. This has a straight flint tube, so no problem there. Cleaned out easy enough. See the debris that fell out of there. Get our drill bit cleaned off now this file wheel is a little bit dirty also so we're going to go ahead and take one of these common household disinfectant wipes and small screwdriver try to get that dust cake flint dust off of the wheel as best we can nothing major if we don't get it all shouldn't be a big deal which still got quite a bit of dust in there so we will blow that out Now 
Now, I can't see it with my eyes, but there must be a clutch spring integrated, yeah, you can see it right there, integrated underneath that snuffer cap. That should engage with the teeth here. So, get that back in there. See the gears are still hanging on to the sides of the snuffer. We've got the teeth side tortoise, which was the same side as the clutch spring. Get these timed up and hold everything sideways. So that the file wheel doesn't fall out of there. Get that lowered back down. Fulcrum screw. And it's pushed all the way. Well, maybe not all the way through yet. There we go, get it pushed all the way through to the back side. Get our fulcrum cap back on. It's kind of tedious work. And you shouldn't have to tighten it down too tight. If you tighten it down too tight, then it'll probably put too much pressure on the snuffer and not let it go all the way up and down. So just tighten it by hand as best as you can. Grab a flint here, get it down the tube. And the flint spring that we're using as a replacement along with the flint spring screw that is original to the lighter. And once we've got that tightened down just a little bit, go ahead and strike it a few times to get the flint grooved in the proper direction. Then we can go ahead and tighten that down. Looks like it's sparking pretty well. Looks like we could use to pull that wick up just a hair. And that should be good enough. Go ahead and pull our fuel screw here. Nothing fancy. Just a plain old fuel screw. Fill the tank up with petrol fuel. That should be good enough, I would think. There is no brand on this lighter, although there is a descriptor. Here on the front side, it just says Gold Tone, so maybe Gold Tone is the brand. It's marked Japan back here. And the embellishment is on kind of a case that fits over the actual tank of the lighter. So we've got the flint spring screw tightened down, the fuel screw tightened down, 
new spring in there pulled our wick up a little bit and just see how it works you can see there where that was sparking really good while ago before we put the fuel in it looks like that file wheel has gotten wet so we will blow the file wheel off get that dried out and that should hasten our ability to be able to get this to light consistently otherwise it may take you a few minutes to let all that fuel evaporate but there you go got it all put back together and now the wheel dried out see the branches and the leaves along with the pearl embellishments so now we have this nice working lighter. Until next time.